we have so much to look forward to as adventure game fans. With more beloved franchise reboots, the return of still more notable designers, and some truly mind-boggling genre innovations on the horizon, the coming years promise to keep the momentum going. Here are some of the upcoming releases we're most excited about, and why you should be too. Rosewater Gunislav Games Ever since Francisco, don't call me Cisco Gonzalez, burst onto the scene, he's been a mainstay of the indie adventure. It's been two decades, almost. After making waves with his Ben Jordan series in the mid-2000s, he went on to create some of the most notable indies in the modern era, including Shardlight and A Golden Wake. Rosewater, his latest title, is a western adventure set in the same universe as his 2018 steampunk mystery Lamplight City. Players take on the role of frontier journalist Harley Ledger, whose pursuit of the seemingly trivial news leads into a high-stakes treasure hunt featuring a fully voiced cast of dangerous characters in beautifully animated 2D world. Beyond Shadowgate Shadowgate is the beloved dark fantasy adventure that first premiered on the Mac in 1987 and found an even bigger audience on the NES two years later. The Dungeons & Dragons inspired gothic horror title has seen countless ports, remakes, and sequels over the last three decades. Now, under the original creator Dave Marsh, Beyond Shadowgate will finally give the original a direct sequel. Based on Marsh's decades-old original design documents for his ambitious vision on the planned follow-up, Beyond is lovingly crafted in the pixel art style of its most popular NES edition and also promises to be several times the scope of the original. Fans are clearly enthused as the Kickstarter project reached its initial crowdfunding goal in only four hours, and it's still going strong. Old Skies by Wadgeteye Dave Gilbert has earned iconic status within the adventure game community, and he's back at it with his new upcoming Old Skies game. With Gilbert's trademark dialogue and storytelling, plus a colorful new art direction, the return of Blackwell composer Thomas Rain, we have no doubt Old Skies will prove to be another Wajedi classic. The Last of Us Part 1 Ported to PC Naughty Dog, the PlayStation zombie post-apocalyptic phenomenon which has already seen a remaster, a remake, a sequel, and a blockbuster television adaption finally arrives on PC. The Last of Us Part 1 is a port of the 2022 PlayStation 5 overhaul, featuring new models, textures, animations, lighting, and ray tracing effects. Playing this horror thriller at max settings is sure to put a test onto your system. Naughty Dog proved last year that they're capable of bringing their brand of action-adventure to PC with last year's Uncharted 4 release. Let's hope that they can repeat the success again. The Invincible by Starward Industries The Invincible is a first-person, atom-punk adventure that emphasizes exploration and interactivity. After your spaceship wrecks on the surface of Regis 3, Regis some planet, players assume the role of Yuma, an astrobiologist who must explore the mysterious planet's surface to find the whereabouts of their lost crew. With the assistance of the rest of their cast, they will uncover the planet's many mysteries in what looks to be a visually stunning, retro-futuristic first-person adventure. The Expanse, a Telltale series Based on the television series and novels of the same name, The Expanse is one of the two eagerly awaited titles by the new revival of Telltale Games. Co-developed by Life is Strange studio Deck Nine, The Expanse is an episodic sci-fi horror adventure that emphasizes the choice and consequence gameplay that both studios helped to pioneer. The cinematic adventure will feature the sci-fi series actress Kara G reprising her role as Kamina Miller, as she navigates a series of life-or-death decisions in a narrative that can unfold in a number of ways. The Altars by 11-Bit Studios Polish developer 11-Bit Studios, designers of Frostpunk, and publishers of the upcoming The Invincible, which, you know, we, we just talked about, comes The Altars, a first-person science fiction psychological thriller. Players take on the role of Jan, a spacefaring laborer 
seemingly alone on an alien planet. The cracks in his physique begin to manifest when alternate versions of himself, or whom he could have been, start to appear. Like The Invincible, The Alters promises to be a visually stunning sci-fi tale that emphasizes philosophy and self-reflection in an isolation of an alien environment. The Last Night by Odd Tales From new developer Odd Tales comes The Last Night, a narrative platformer in a highly stylized cyberpunk noir setting. With the blend of lovingly crafted pixel art and cinematic modern effects, this action adventure looks like the 16-bit era of your nostalgic dreams. Publisher Raw Fury has brought us modern classics like Kathy Rain and Whispers of a Machine. Let's hope the last night lives up to their impressive catalog. The Wolf Among Us 2 Telltale Games the other highly anticipated title from the revival of Telltale Games was recently delayed to next year to prevent crunch times and a rush release, proving this new studio is already avoiding the same mistakes that led to the downfall of its predecessor. Picking up where the original left off, players will once again step into the shoes of Fable Town's Sheriff Bigby Wolf as he solves a fairy tale noir mystery. Based on the Fable's comic book series, Wolf Among Us 2 will also continue the episodic, choice-based gameplay that the original had and will hopefully resolve some of the unanswered questions from that cult favorite game. Shadows of Doubt Cold Powered Games Shadows of Doubt is shaping up to be a truly innovative detective mystery. Combining voxel art, a la Minecraft, with a cyberpunk setting, this indie noir adventure features an open, persistent world with an immersive sim approach to puzzle solving, where the solutions to a given obstacle are limited only by the player's own ingenuity. Featuring a distinct artistic direction and a procedurally generated living world, Shadows of Doubt could help to shape the adventure genre for years to come. The Crimson Diamond by Julia Minamata. From Canadian developer and community artist Julia Minamata comes The Crimson Diamond, a loving homage to EGA era of text parser adventures. Taking obvious cues from Roberta Williams' murder mystery classic The Colonel's Bequest, you play the role of mineralogist and amateur sleuth Nancy Maple as she investigates the whereabouts of an invaluable diamond. Featuring a quirky cast of characters with their own machinations, the Crimson Diamond looks to be faithful and a nostalgic recreation of a bygone time, but not a forgotten era of classic adventure gamers. Amnesia The Bunker by Frictional Games Developer Frictional Games have proven themselves masters of the first-person horror adventures with the rest of their Amnesia games, the Bunker is the fourth main title of the terrifying H.P. Lovecraft-inspired Amnesia series. Borrowing elements from the immersive sims, The Bunker will emphasize player ingenuity and evasion over head-on enemy confrontation. Using what limited resources are at your disposal in the environment around you, you must investigate the mysteries of a desolate World War I-era bunker while evading its horrors and striving to keep your sanity intact. Firmament, Cyan Worlds. Touted as the next step in the evolution of Cyan, deeply rooted in the spirit of mist, riven, and abduction, Firmament drops players into a surreal world of steampunk magic and tasks them with solving a series of varied and interconnected puzzles across a variety of visually distinct locales, including a tropical coast, snowy mountainscape, and industrial ruin. First announced via Kickstarter campaign in March 2019, the project met its funding goals but missed its initial target release of July 2020. Given their own proven and indelible legacy, fans and backers remain supportive. Though there is yet no confirmed new release date, Adventure Game Hotspot is hoping we can finally get our VR rendered hands on the game sometime this year. But... Tintin Reporter, Cigars of the Pharaohs by Pendulo Studios. The long-running Belgian comic strip, The Adventures of Tintin, has all the hallmarks of great licensed detective mystery source material. As reporter and 
amateur sleuth Tintin with his trusty dog Snowy, players will travel from Egypt to the Far East in pursuit of a narcotics ring linked to an ancient pharaoh's tomb and a popular storyline taken straight from the pages of the internationally beloved cartoon. The official Tintin franchise website promises a unique and innovative gameplay combining all of the key elements of adventure and investigative video games. This will be appropriate for all ages, so even us uh, older ones can play. Stasis, Bone Totem, by The Brotherhood Games. In the tradition of sanitarium and rich narrative RPGs like Planetscape Torment, Bone Totem is a dark sci-fi point-and-click adventure in an isometric perspective. While it may have the visual trappings often associated with the 90s role-playing classics, including an atmospheric soundtrack by Fallout's Mark Morgan, the follow-up to 2015's Stasis promises to be a terrifying game that has a rich narrative and still a traditional adventure at its core. As a husband and wife duo, Mac and Charlie, along with their robot pet Moses, you'll explore a deep sea facility along with the horrors and puzzles within them. Professor Layton and the New World of Steam by Level 5 Coming exclusively for the Nintendo Switch is the latest in a long-running Japanese puzzler series, Professor Layton and the New World of Steam. Though little of the game, beyond a 30-second teaser trailer, has been revealed, the eighth Layton game is a steampunk animated visual novel that will undoubtedly feature puzzle stylings of its predecessors. The Last Worker As one of the few VR-supported titles on our list, the Last Worker stands out as a visionary first-person narrative adventure experience. With rotoscope animation reminiscent of Borderlands, combined with portal-like mechanics and plenty of black humor, The Last Worker promises to be a fun and dark take on the physics puzzler genre. Starring the Hollywood voice talents of Jason Isaacs, David Hewlett, and Zelda Williams, this unique artistic vision looks like one watch. Twinson's Little Big Adventure by Adeline Software. The original Little Big Adventure, released in 1994, remains a cult sensation. Using groundbreaking 3D isometric visuals, this charming action adventure was one of the most unique games for the PC during the early CD-ROM era. Now, 30 years later, the original artists have assembled a new team for a complete series reboot. While originally planned as a third and final entry to the series, the team decided that enough time had passed that the world needed to be reintroduced to Trinson and company. Hopefully, Adeline Software will be able to bring Little Big Adventure to a new generation while delivering a faithful experience to its many diehard fans. Goblins 5 French developer Cocktail Vision's Goblin series is a fondly remembered oddity of the golden age of point-and-click adventures. Featuring a quirky animated style and challenging puzzles that require the use of multiple characters to solve, the series eschewed the linear narrative focus structure that its parent company, Sierra Online, had helped to popularize. The original designer attempted to revive the series in 2009 with Goblins 4 to admittedly mixed reception. Now, with the help of a successfully funded Kickstarter campaign, he's bringing the new series to life again with Goblins 5. Leaving behind the 3D experimentations of his previous foray, the team will be using full-color 2D panoramas, 640x480, to bring us in modern Goblin's adventure with a classic feel. Indiana Jones by Bethesda on January 12, 2021, Bethesda announced that it's working with Lucasfilm and Machine Games to produce a new Indiana Jones game. Little information regarding the title was revealed, aside from what could be ascertained of the cryptic teaser trailer released alongside the announcement. What we do know, however, is that it'll be a standalone adventure that takes place during the height of the famed adventurer's career. Though it may seem premature to anticipate a game we know little about, Jones has had a long and storied history in the adventure genre. Here's hoping Machine Games and Bethesda can deliver a game worthy of the series' video game legacy. Sherlock Holmes, The Awakened by Frogwares The Awakened was an interesting turn in the Ukrainian developer Frogwares' long-running Sherlock Holmes series. Rather uniquely for its point-and-click adventure genre, The Awakened featured fully 3D world that could be explored in either first or third person. Now the team is re-envisioning the 2007 title, 
from the ground up. Using the modern graphics engine and an open world RPG approach to the action adventure formula they used in the 2019's The Sinking City. This eerie detective mystery is sure to delight fans of Sherlock and Lovecraft alike. Dustborn by Red Thread Games. From legendary designer Ragnar Tornquist, creator of the Longest Journey Dreamwall series, comes an innovative graphic novel inspired action adventure. A group of friends and a couple robots find themselves bound together in a road trip across a dystopian America in the near future, in a premise reminiscent of 2021's Road 96. Using a variety of non-standard mechanics, including space-based combat system, players will navigate the ragtag team of protagonists through a complex web of choices, relationships, and hostile encounters as they make their way across a war-torn country to deliver a mysterious package. Dustborn promises to be a neo-western hybrid adventure with a socially conscious message. Foolish Mortals by Inklingwood Studios David Younger literally wrote the book on theme park design. It's no surprise then that his first adventure game evokes the Disneyland charm of Pirates of the Caribbean ride and the cartoon looks of Monkey Island and Broken Sword. This gothic 2D mystery adventure looks to have no shortage of spooky puzzles, fun scares, humor, and gruesome deaths. Foolish Mortals is sure to appeal to fans of zany sensibilities of LucasArts classics. Layers of Fear by Bluebird Team Continuing the trend of horror revivals, remakes, and reboots set by the likes of Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and Dead Space comes a third entry in Layers of Fear series. It's unclear if the new title will expand on the original story, however the team has implied that this will, at the very least, be a complete reworking of the original two games. Although it has a cadence of its action-heavy survival horror peers, expect Layers of Fear to eschew traditional combat encounters in favor of moments of sheer psychological horror. Using the state-of-the-art Unreal 5 tech, the new Layers of Fear is sure to be a visceral, visually stunning creepfest. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom by Nintendo As one of the best-selling media franchises of all time, Nintendo's The Legend of Zelda series needs no introduction. While not a traditional adventure game, 2017's stunning Breath of the Wild still maintained the exploration, narrative, and puzzle-solving mechanics that are foundational pillars of the genre. This year's upcoming Tears of the Kingdom is one of the few titles of the series that serves as a direct sequel to its immediate predecessor, so look for the latest entry to build on a lush environmental design and award-winning action-adventure gameplay of the last. Master Detective Archives Raincoat by Tukio This quirky cyberpunk anime adventure is sure to delight everybody. Brain Code is a candy-colored noir mystery that sees its protagonist and his mysterious spirit guide solve a series of fantastical capers. Combining visual novel elements with action-adventure gameplay, Master Detective Archive's Brain Code is a Switch exclusive. Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals by Night School Studio the original Oxenfree was a supernatural thriller that was a breath of fresh air to new and old school adventure fans alike. Taking the best from walking sims while still maintaining some light puzzle solving mechanics, Oxenfree kept players engrossed in growing tension of its troubling narrative. Lost Signals, its standalone sequel, looks to be more of the same award winning formula. With its atmospheric 80s VHS nostalgia reminiscent of Stranger Things, it's no wonder Netflix signed on to produce this one. Phenopolis by Amanita Design Phenopolis is the latest title from the art game studio Amanita Design, best known for 2009's acclaimed Machinarium. Like its predecessor, Phenopolis features a striking visual art direction, this time reminiscent of pop-up storybook world made of corrugated cardboard. The visual styles shows off more sinister themes. Players take on the role of Felix, a resident of the oppressed paper world, who must reluctantly lead a rebellion against his tyrannical government. Consistent with the rest of Amanita's catalog, Phenopolis promises to be a gorgeous, high-concept work of interactive fiction for adventure fans who prefer their games a little headier. Prim by Common Colors 
Channeling Greek mythology and the humor of Terry Pratchett through the visual lens of Tim Burton, developer Jonas Fish brings us a new and charming artistic vision. The sardonic Prim is the daughter of Death, who, in order to answer a boy's call for help, must trick her father and escape to the land of the living. A black and white animated adventure, Prim is reminiscent of twee goth screen classics like Nightmare Before Christmas and The Addams Family, adapted to a traditional 2D point and click adventure experience. Road 96, Mile Zero, by Digix Art. Road 96, a 2019 political trip adventure, was an innovative experiment in incorporating RPG and sim mechanics into a traditional adventure game format. Similar to The Life is Strange or various Telltale series, players are presented with choices that determine story and relationship outcomes. Road 96 went a step further and incorporated these elements into a first-person, procedurally generated world, with iterative gameplay into what developer Digix Arts called a narrative roguelike. While the original featured an ensemble cast of teenagers as they attempted to flee the dystopian land of Petria, the upcoming prequel will scale back the character dynamics to focus on the relationship between two teens, Cato and Zoe, whose unfolding story and differing worldviews set up the political tensions of the original. Star Trek Resurgence by Dramatic Labs Founded in 2021, Dramatic Labs is a new studio founded by some of the most important creative minds of the original Telltale games. True to their predecessor's previous licensed games, Star Trek Resurgence will put the player in a dual role of two Starfleet officers as they make high-stakes decisions that will affect the branching narrative and the lives of their Starship's crew. Featuring cameos from Tenpole franchise characters, Resurgence looks to immerse Trek fans in the series' world in a way that hasn't been done before. I need you to do the right thing. Harmony, The Fall of Reverie, by Don't Nod. The latest title from Don't Nod, the French studio that created Life is Strange series, is a fantastical anime-inspired choice-based narrative adventure. In a dystopian corporate-run metropolis, players shape the character of Polly a clairvoyant who can tap into the spirit world where she becomes the goddess of harmony. Similarly to The Longest Journey, a likely influence for Life is Strange, you will travel between the mundane world of fantastical realm of reverie, shaping the fate of both with your branching choices. Don't Nod is known for their emotionally rich stories that touch on real social and political issues, and Harmony, the fall of reverie, looks to be no exception. And last, The Dark Pictures Anthology, Directive 8020, by Supermassive Games. Beginning with 2013's acclaimed PS4 slasher Until Dawn, Supermassive Games have continued to corner the unique niche of the adventure game market. Their popular brand of cinematic horror looks simple on paper. Take a group of hapless, usually teen, protagonists and a monster of the week, unleash them in a classic horror locale, and throw in a mystery scavenger hunt for good measure. The primary conceit is that the player choices have major, though not always immediately apparent, impact on whom, if any, of the playable characters will survive. Their Dark Pictures Anthology titles are a more bite-sized version of the same brand of interactive movie horror that can be found in Until Dawn and last year's The Quarry, but their presentation and gameplay are nearly indistinguishable. Directive 8020, Dark Pictures' fifth entry in the Season of Two premiere, will be the series' first foray into sci-fi horror. While little has been revealed about the premise, teasers show that the story will revolve around an ill-fated space mission. Dark Pictures has been consistent in its delivery of fun, interactive horror that can be experienced alone or with friends. We hope Directive 8020 will be more of the same. And that's a wrap! There were dozens of entries we considered for this list, and though some didn't make the cut, rest assured that we'll be following these games and many more in the months to come. And as always, we, we want to hear from you. Tell us what you think. Which of these games are you most excited about? Jump into the comments section and let us know what you're most excited about. Also, head on over to Adventure Game Hotspot where we have this version of the video on paper, if you like that sort of thing. And, uh, and lots more. There's a lot more stuff. Look to us for news, real-time updates, and developer interviews regarding these titles and all of your favorite upcoming adventure game releases. I'm Joshua with Weird Gaming Adventure and Adventure Game Hotspot, and 
we we love you in a weird way see you guys in the next video my friends <laughs>